Traffic flow on some of Perth's busiest road corridors is set to speed up with changes to hundreds of traffic lights. Upgrades already rolled out have cut travel times during peak hours, but the RAC says much more needs to be done to beat congestion. Perth's on its way to being the most congested capital city in the country. In just 15 years, we'll have seven out of ten of Australia's most clogged roads. Drivers forced to stop start all the way through their commutes. But upgrades to traffic light signalling have already cut travel times. Green lights now link up on nine routes, including Canning Highway, where drivers now save four and a half minutes. And we're adopting best practices from around the world to make sure that we deliver world-class world -class solutions for Western Australia. Motorists using Albany Highway, Charles Street, Leach Highway and Shepparton Road are also enjoying better flow. A traffic expert from London bought in to oversee the changes. Now they'll be rolled out to 11 more routes, including along Leach Highway from Hyatt to Welshpool Roads, part of Great Eastern Highway, West Coast Highway to Curtin Avenue and Wanneroo, Stock and Guildford Roads. Lights on the southern part of Canning Highway to Fremantle will also be tweaked. So it's all about keeping traffic flowing, it's all about um, the sequencing of, of, of traffic lights and, and getting the optimum uh, green time based on the demand um, that's, that's on the network. Also on the way, a $2.3 million northbound exit lane on the Mitchell Freeway between Cedric Street and Caranup Road. And 36 pedestrian countdown timers to replace the flashing red man. Solving Perth's congestion crisis is said to be a key election issue next March. The opposition says while it doesn't yet have a detailed traffic management plan like the one rolled out today, fixing the city's congestion issues is a must. The RAC agrees it's calling on the state government to do more, including invest in public transport and cycling infrastructure. Rebecca Johns, Nine News.